Today I wanted to share a tool that I use to help level my 3D print bed. So um, I discovered a tool for, Octo for Octoprint called AutoBIM. A-U-T-O-B-I-M. And I'll have it spelled out in the video description. And this tool allows you to use your printer's touch probe, whether it's a BL touch or a CR touch, to help you level your print bed. So my Ender 5 Plus has a BL touch with it, and it has leveling screws underneath the bed. So what this does is that it will show on your printer's firmware screen, um, you know, assuming you're running Marlin, and not just the Creality Marlin, you actually have to have like a third-party Marlin that has feedback on the screen. Like my printer has the Tiny Machines firmware on it. Uh, what this will do is when you start AutoBIM, it will start a cycle where it's probing each corner, and if it falls within a certain tolerance as you're adjusting the bed leveling screws, it will move on. And I run this like two or three laps around the print bed, and it's it, it helps me level my bed. It's a lot easier to do than the paper trick, because I absolutely despise paper trick. I just don't have the, the feeling in my fingers, I guess, and my senses to uh, you know, figure out when, it's, when the pressure's good enough on the nozzle. So I really like this. I feel like it's more consistent. Um, no, it's it's a great tool. I'm glad it's a thing. So I'm going to go demonstrate it. When you have AutoBIM installed on OctoPrint, it shows up here in this blue square. And you know, assuming your printer's already connected, I'm going to go ahead and click on it to start it. And you can hear the servos going in the back. And it says AutoBIM started over here. So now I have AutoBIM running. And, yeah, you can see the blue LED flashing on my, uh, on my BL Touch, but that's just the uh, camera doing its thing. So, let's see what's going on here, because I made some major adjustments to my printer. I noticed that my bed was actually skewed quite a bit. So, on my Tiny Machines firmware, you can see at the top here that it's telling me how far off my, my level is. I think I have this to like 0 0.02 millimeters or something tolerance, maybe 0 0.01. I can't remember. You can customize it in Octoprint for the for the uh, plugin settings. So I'm gonna go ahead. It has my. It shows I need to turn the screw this way to adjust it. So I'm gonna crank it over and see what it says. Oh, wow! Amazing. I got it down to zero in one go. So let's see what happens now. Now it's saying I need to crank it over the other way by 0 0.01 millimeters, which because of the variability sometimes of the BL touch, it might fluctuate a little bit. So I just cranked it over a little. Now it's going on to the next point. So you see it going over there now. And now I'm getting 0 0.05, and I've got to crank it counterclockwise, just a little bit. And now I'm down to 0 0.04. That's probably going to fluctuate a little bit after this. Yeah, I'm going to just crank it over a little more. A little bit more. Still a little bit more, apparently. Okay, now it's too far. So, sometimes you gotta jog this around a little bit with auto bim, but like I said, I like this a lot more than the paper trick. So there it is over in that corner, and now it's saying that it's off by 0.03, so I gotta crank it clockwise let's see I did it mid test I can do this faster when I'm not filming but uh, you know I wanted to share this tool because I think it's really awesome 
and hopefully it'll help some of you who are watching this. So there, let's see, let's do another lap here. You know, just like paper testing. Okay, so I'm at 0 0.02, so I gotta crank it over a little bit. Let's see. Crank it a little bit more. These fine adjustments, all to help with print quality. I mean, I do have automatic bed leveling, but I'd rather not, I, I want the base of my prints to be as flat as possible anyway, which, you know, automatic bed leveling compensates for that, but I guess to for very, very close examination, you would be able to notice the difference if your bed wasn't level. But, uh, and you might have some adhesion issues too. So that's why it's important to make sure your bed's all level. So it looks like I might be pretty well off. I'm just wondering why my one corner's off. Maybe it's because I had to um, adjust my gantry. That was the main thing that's leading me to recalibrate everything. My gantry wasn't square. All right, I'm gonna call that good. And this took under five minutes to do with AutoBIM. So the way to stop AutoBIM is you gotta go back to Octoprint just click on that blue square again and it'll shut off the application it'll shut off the plugin for this and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do my my usual uh, bed leveling routine running through I use like mesh bed leveling where the printer goes through 30 points or so to get a good feel of what the bed is then I'll also run another plugin on Octoprint called bed visualizer gives me a visual idea of how flat my bed is so which with creality beds I think it's kind of hit or miss because well again you get what you pay for but I think most of the time it's good enough thank you for watching this video if you liked it please be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons below also post any questions you have in the comments and I may answer them in another video. And remember, anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. So keep learning, keep designing, keep making, and be proud of your work.